Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Check it out. It's the Mavic Mini Everyday Fly Cam Fly More Combo. Now, if you haven't seen my other videos already on the Mavic Mini regular model, not the Fly More model, that's the one I got first. Those videos are going to be the playlist right up here on the top right. That card will pop up there. And also down below in the description, I'll have a link to that whole playlist. I've already done an unboxing of that one. We did a setup and a updating as well. Full in-depth flight test. And I also did a range test all the way to 0%. So go ahead and check those videos out if you haven't seen that. That's pretty amazing. So anyway, let's get started with unboxing the Mavic Mini Flymore Combo. Okay, so I really have not taken even the plastic off of this one, so this is gonna be really just a first look for me, even seeing it in person. I like to give kind of my first impressions on products like this. You know, I don't really like to rehearse anything. I like kind of keep it raw and real for you guys. So anyway, there it is. If you don't know what the specs are on the Mavic Mini, pretty phenomenal specs. This is the one to get if you want a super light and capable drone. It's only 249 grams. It can fly for up to 30 minutes. I've been getting about 25, 24, 25 in real life flying. But uh, I think if you have it in like cinematic mode, at only eight kilometers per hour, it can fly up to 30 minutes if there's no wind. Four kilometer range, I tested it to, if you have no interference and there's no obstructions between you and the drone, you can fly it for three and a half miles. So anyway, uh, go ahead and check that video again. Uh, vision sensor and GPS, precise hovering, which works extremely well, even in the house I've tested it. Three axis gimbal at 2.7K max. So some people might have wanted a 4K, but you know what? It does a really good job at 2.7K and that three axis gimbal keeps it amazingly still. So very, very impressed so far. And then of course they have in their app, you can do some simple recording and editing. Anyway, proceeding to open this guy up. And I want to see the case. Cool. That's what I'm talking about. Nice, awesome looking case. We have propeller guards, three batteries, multi charger, other accessories, and that's everything in the box. So let's start with a few of these boxes that may be kind of the boring stuff first, and then we'll get to the good stuff, which is the drone in the bag itself. So, how do we open this? Here we go. So, if you're an absolute beginner, I would recommend putting these on. In the settings, uh, there is a, a little uh, mode you wanna activate, which is payload mode. Make sure you activate that when you put these things on. So, wow, they actually encompass the entire thing in like a 360 of the entire propeller and motor. That's incredible. We'll go ahead and put that on in just a second and I'll see, show you how both of these kind of go on. So we've got a bunch of manuals, your kind of uh, quick what and what not to do card, Mavic Mini Flymore Combo, quick start guide for flying, disclaimer, accessories guide, and all that stuff in there. Oh, cool. So for the um, original combo, you don't get this plug. I didn't see it in my package. You had to like plug your USB into an existing power plug or your computer to charge it, but at least you get like a little USB plug that you can plug into your wall. I guess we should call this a power brick which actually does have, it's sealed with some plastic. So I do, I would recommend taking off this plastic. Um, I don't I don't like to have extra plastic on things that get hot and these, sometimes these will get hot. So I take that off. Is this three batteries? Oh my gosh, nice. And that's what I'm talking about. Three brand new batteries in the wrapping. The um, regular mini package just comes with one. So this is gonna be awesome to have three. Probably what I'll be doing, guys, is since I have one from my original Mini and then I have these three, I'll probably be trying to mod one of these batteries, see if we can squeeze out extra flight time and range because the only thing that was limited in the range test I just did to three and a half miles in the country was the battery power and I had to turn around. So I think we can squeeze out more range if we modify this because it's only using 18650 lithium ion cylindrical metal cells. So if you put some larger cells in there, maybe we can get some farther range. That'll be in future videos. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Now let's get to the good stuff, guys. Here is the Mavic Mini in its case. We'll just take a look at the case real quick. Look at this, so a nice denim material, kind of like raised graphics. Got a little handle, nothing special, but it does feel like a durable strap. And that's it, it is um, kind of semi-hard case. You, I mean, you can push it and bend it, but it's hard enough where it's not gonna like get messed up. 
if you sit on it, of course, maybe you'll smash some things in there, but let's just unzip this, pop it open, looking at the top, nice. Contoured bracing going down to hold everything in there. And there it is. So here's everything we got. This looks like the multi-charger. We got our controller. And there is the Mavic Mini. Pull out the Mini first. Cool, put that on the side. If you guys wanna see more in depth on this thing, make sure you watch my initial unboxing video. Maybe I'll, I will just go into it. We got our controller here. That's the controller you're gonna put your phone into. And then there's our multi-charger. Just pull everything out and then we'll open everything up individually. And that's it. That's the uh, case completely empty. Let's close that up. Great little looking case there. Now we'll just quickly open up a couple of these other boxes, see what they are, see if they're any different than the regular kit. In the original Mavic Mini, you only get one of these propellers for two motors and screws. In the Flymore combo, you get two more, aside from already four motors with propellers on it. So you have a whole bunch of propellers. And that's what's so cool about the flamware combo. You know, if you accidentally maybe hit some branches or you have a hard little landing and it flips over somehow, even though these are super durable, I mean, I didn't even mess up one when I um, flipped it over landing in my super duper 0% range test. I came in, hit the grass, flipped over, and had no damage whatsoever. So they are already durable, but you have a whole bunch of extra propellers here. Let's go ahead and open this up. And this is going to be looking like it's all your cables, just like uh, what we get in the regular Mavic Mini Combo. These are some extra control sticks. So there is already two on the controller, but you get two extra. So that's awesome. If one of them uh, falls in the tall grass maybe and you can't find it, you got a couple of extra here to keep you flying. And just like the standard package, we do have a screwdriver here. And this little uh, cross screwdriver is just to take off and on the propeller screws to change those propellers. And here we go, no different than the original package as well, are three uh, plugs that are gonna go from the controller to your actually phone. So you have a micro USB, you have the iOS lightning cable here, and then you have a USB type C for the newer kind of Android phones. And here we go, it looks like in the Flymore combo you actually get two um, USB plugs and that's great because in the regular combo I got, the initial one, uh, they only had one of these and you need to charge your controller and the drone with uh, micro USB. So if you only had one, the one they gave you in the regular combo, you're only able to charge either the controller or the mini one at a time. Then you have to switch over to the next. But it looks like in the Flamware combo, they're giving you two USB cables. Most people probably have some kind of cables laying around, but maybe not because all the newer phones out now don't have um, these little older micro USB D type cables. So I think they should really give two in the the normal package as well. Maybe they do by now, but uh, I only got one in mine. So that's all the accessories in the boxes. Let's take out this. This is gonna be your multi-battery charger, which is significant only to the Flamore combo, or of course you can buy this separate. But really easy, it looks like it's got some connections here. We have a power button, micro USB, and regular USB. And that's all the connections we got. And this is where we're gonna slide in our three batteries. And let's do that right now. Okay, so I got all the batteries opened up and they only can go in one way. You see how the battery connector is there. So make sure that is facing down. And just like you would put it in the drone, push until you hear it click. Next one, slide it in. Push till you hear it clicked. And third one, boom, push till you hear it click. That's all three in there ready to charge. Taking one of our USB cables and we're plugging one end into this um, three amps. So this is a three amp output, a little bit higher power than most uh, USB plugs. And then the other side, just right here, we're putting right into this little micro USB port on there. And that's how we're gonna charge them all up. Now this guy does have four lights, just like you would see on the drone itself, on the bottom of the drone if you're charging directly into the drone. You got four lights to show you 25, 50, 75, and full charge status of each battery. And the way DJI does it is they charge one battery that is the most charged first, and then they switch over to the next one. So that way, um, the battery that has the highest charge, they're gonna charge that first so you can get flying as soon as possible. Okay, and last but not least, it's the controller. 
So let's just open this up. We'll take a look at it real quick. And then what we'll do is we'll put those uh, prop guards on the mini and show you how all that works. So we've got our two antennas we can open up like that. Pop open the bottom. This is where we're gonna put our phone in. And then this is where these little sticks are. Remember we got two extra of these also in the package. And the two extra also come with the regular non fly more kit too, if you were wondering. And those just screw right in here. Cool thing about these sticks is check this out. A little bit different than the other kind of Mavic controllers. These don't have any rubber stuff here. You just push them in and they click. It's got this nice little collar. So you actually know when they're sitting in there right when they do click. And then of course you have the um, instructions here. There's no screen on this controller. So it's kind of like the Spark where you've got no screen just to keep the cost down for it affordability. So I'm gonna take this off here real quick here. So you just got your power button. You have your return to home up here. Both sticks pretty tight. Fan cooling ports here. Remember, no USB on the bottom, so you only can use this port up here. On the back, nothing really special. There's no bottom buttons for clicking. There is your gimbal control, and then you've got your recording for video over here and picture taking over here. And that's it, just a very basic controller. By the way, guys, you can fly your Mini without a phone. So if you do not have a phone, or for some reason your phone isn't working right, like I've been hearing some reports, as long as you can do somehow the initial activation at home and the updates, you can take this out and you can fly it with just the controller. You don't need to have a phone in here, uh, but of course you won't have any information on what's going on. So you'll have to fly it like just purely within view and uh, just gotta be careful because it can get a little bit dangerous even in line of sight with depth perception. Anyway guys, the last thing I wanna do in this video, I've already done it in my original unboxing of the non fly more package is I just quickly want to take everything off here. So we have two little tapes for the propellers. We got one holding the gimbal under for shipping. And then we have two, shows you how to fold the arms out. So you just follow the instructions. We got one and then we got two. That's the process of doing it. And then once you get that down, make sure you take off these stickers you don't absolutely have to, but I'm gonna do it because we wanna get every little ounce of uh, flight time and all that stuff. Wow, this is interesting. I didn't even notice this even in my other mini. Back here, it's not even plastic. It's like this rubber foam spongy stuff. Wow, that's pretty cool. Maybe that's a way, this one isn't, this is hard plastic. But this one's like some kind of like, maybe vibration foam or something. That's trippy. Didn't even know that. Then on the very back where the battery goes, we just pull this thing off. It's just basically showing how you how to insert the battery. And that's it. So just a quick little run through since I've already kind of done this on my other video. Venting holes on the top. These two on the front, these are just for cosmetics. There's no front sensors. There's no vents in here as well. We have our gimbal cover here, a camera cover, which just basically slides in the top, clicks on the bottom. Two 0.7K camera, roll, pitch, and our panning axis here, or yeah. The main way this thing is getting cooled is it's sucking air in through the gimbal area. And also there's a bunch of vents on the bottom for where the battery goes in. There's our power on and off. There's our sensors. So the only sensors this thing has is on the bottom. It has two like infrared type, and then it has one little tiny optical flow camera on the very bottom too, which actually works really good in the house. It just locks in there solid without any other sensors except this, these sensors here, it just stays. If you wanted to fly in your house, it's really easy and it locks in just like the Spark did, but this has no side sensors. Little micro SD card there. And if you did want to charge it with your battery inside, you can actually charge the mini uh, just from this port with that, one of those USB cables they gave you, and it'll charge the battery inside, and this will flash for your battery status as you charge. And that's about it, guys. Uh, nothing else to really see. Let's put one of these batteries in so you know how to kind of do that. So we'll take it out of the charger, up and pull. Yeah, so it locks in kind of like it does into the drone as well into the multi-charger. So you just push the button, pop it out. And it's kind of the same way you're gonna be putting the battery in. So you just push it in so the connector's on top. You're gonna to hear that click and it will not come out until you push up, grab this like this, push. There's a little, um, you'll feel a little lever on the bottom here as you push your thumb up. And then you just kind of wiggle it and pull that battery out. 
and that's how that's connecting and we just have our open cavity there a little oval cavity anyway the last thing I want to do in this video is to kind of put on these propeller guards I've never done this before so let's go ahead and give it a try open these little things up first they just have two clips on each side and it's pretty easy to tell some differences so on this on one propeller cage that's on for one side of the drone you can see how this opening here is a little different than this opening here this is pretty much just round and then this one's kind of round with a little notch in the end so what that tells me is the one with a little notch is going to be going on the front so you see how I'm kind of pushing this over just kind of working the the mini in there and then as I'm doing that I'm also pushing the back onto the other side and you see how that works it just basically slips right in there nothing too major and then as we slide it in just slide it till it kind of pushes up against the bottom we just pull and click that little latch right over and it has a nice satisfying click this one too right over and click there we go and that's one side super easy make sure our latches are opened come in kind of at an angle put our front foot down in first flip it over push these little guys all the way up so they're tight against the bottom of the motors At this point you kind of want to be careful of your propellers because if you push this latch over and your propellers in the way you could bend and damage your propellers so make sure your propellers are out of the way so here I kind of have the propellers in the way you see how that latch will hit the propeller so make sure these are just pushed out of the way and then just grab push in and snap that in just like that now we have a mini with the entire propeller cage on and so it's really going to be hard to damage this thing or hurt anybody else unless maybe they stick their fingers underneath or on the top I mean you can still stick your fingers in here but they had to make it kind of open for airflow to even be able to lift this thing. And remember, when you are using this, this cage, guys, uh, you do want to switch on the payload in the uh, settings app because this will add a little extra weight. And what happens is it amps up the motors with a little bit more power to hold that extra weight. I would imagine maybe even around five minutes less flight time because you've also got more wind resistance. There's less lift because the propellers have to push air through, suck and push air through the propeller guards. And you also have to account for more weight. So that means more power. Anyway guys, I think that's gonna do it. So if you do wanna see more of my flight tests, my range tests, go ahead and check that card again. I'll have had it up here. And also the links will be down in the description for the mini, uh, also, a lot of the gear I use in a lot of my videos, if you guys were wondering what gear does Dustin use for his hat cam, for his um, field equipment, portable audio recording, and all that stuff. I'll have all that stuff down there also in the description. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video, and we'll see you in more Mavic Mini test flights to come. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.